Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. The faster we run, the further away the dreams of bridges be. Welcome back, 7 till the hour. Thank you very much for joining me. Thanks for staying with me. It's Dan Fogelberg bringing us back to late break. Dan Fogelberg. And uh, I'm Jim Blasingham. We're having a great visit with Lee Branham, our longtime Brain Trust member, the author of Re-Engage, How America's Best Places to Work Inspire Extra Effort in Extraordinary Times. Lee, uh, keepingthepeople.com, right? That's right. That's the website. We're talking about Mm -hmm. giving performance feedback Positive and not so positive, right? Yeah, I mean, I want to get I want to get across the idea that what we really want is neutral feedback. In other words, giving ah. people the facts about what you see. That's neutral. You know, it's neither positive or negative. It's just what the reality. Here's what I'm seeing you doing, and, and sometimes employees have a hard time agreeing with the reality mm-hmm. that you see. So, so give us some yeah, examples about neutral feedback. And, and does, doesn't neutral, if you give neutral feedback, doesn't it doesn't it prompt a question to make them draw a conclusion from neutral feedback? So you, because it seems to me, if you're giving neutral, it could allow them to form an opinion that might not be, uh, you know, if you say, you know, if you give neutral feedback, well, I notice you're late today. Yeah, I like it like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that because that's only part of it. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, negative feedback is saying you're always late, uh, and okay. I'm not. This is unacceptable. I'm not going to accept it anymore right. because that doesn't really go anywhere. It drives right. you to vent, and it makes them defensive. Mm-hmm. That's negative feedback. Neutral feedback is simply saying the facts. I noticed you were late again today. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd say why that's unacceptable. Want to tell me about that? Yeah, it's, it's unacceptable because this this is the. The, what the problem so would you, could you say so so I noticed you were late today uh, do you want to tell me about that or is that the kind of behavior you think is acceptable uh, in any company or why would you no, how would you no, follow you that up you don't ask don't ask the employee to say do you think that's acceptable what do you, what do you what, but if you say I noticed you're late what do you do after that you say this is something we have to work out a solution to Let, let's talk about why you're late Okay, and the employee mm-hmm. says, well, uh, my alarm didn't go off. Well, <clears throat> let's talk about getting you a new alarm, uh, or let's talk about you hitching a ride or, or with, with other people in the company so mm-hmm. that you, you make sure you, you, you get your ride right. or if, if you're having car problems. You have to solve the problem, okay? Tell, you know, so you help the employee figure out <clears throat> what's standing in the way of being on time, maybe staying up too late right. every night, Okay. I need you to do whatever you need to do to make sure you're up and mm-hmm. have your have a ride and get here on time. Because if you don't, can you if this continues to happen, there's really no basis for a future relationship mm-hmm. with you in this company. So you go ahead and you ask them a neutral question. You help them come to the conclusion that's that's the problem. No, you don't one. ask them a neutral question. You state. I, I mean, I, okay, I meant you, right, so you, you you state the neutral fact, and then yep. you hopefully come to the, they'll come to the conclusion that's that's productive, and then you tell and then you tell them the consequences if it continues. Yeah, and then you mutually agree that well, this is what's going to happen from now on. Okay, you're going to mm-hmm. get a new alarm clock. Uh, we're going to we're going to watch your punctuality between now and uh, the end of the month. Uh, we're going to follow up to see how many times you're, you're here and, and, and you're not here. And uh, when, when they do arrive on time, you say, hey, great. Appreciate you getting here on time. See, I, I don't know why, but I, I, and, and I, and I'm, this is why I don't, you know, I'm, I'm probably not the greatest manager in the world, but, but I'd have to say something like, I noticed you were late. Yeah, I was, boss. Well, the, I don't know if you noticed, but other people, other people were here when you got here. Um, wonder, wonder what they thought about you when you walked in late. There's nothing wrong with that either. That, that's, that's noticing. That's giving feedback. Yeah. That's neutral feedback. Uh, but you, at some point you have to say, why, what Im- impact is it having on the business? Mm-hmm. And you've got to get the employee to, to understand and, and uh, admit that he understands that that's not a good thing. How do you t- can, can you could you rely on your could you let your team take take care of that? 
Could you could you have a let the team have a team? In other words, if that person's got a manager, instead of the manager saying that, just say, okay, uh, everybody just gather around here. Um, Bill was late twenty minutes, the third time in the last two weeks. Uh, let's gather around here, guy. Anybody got anything to like say to Bill about him being late? Could you do that? You could do that, but that that increases the defensiveness. And yeah. uh, will will make some employees want to fight. Uh, yeah, you know, and, and defend. I'm a little I'm a little more hard nosed about this. I think than you are. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I'd I'd go, I'd go to the employees and yeah. say, you know, if you see Bill coming in late, I, I would appreciate your saying something, not so it's yeah. not just me saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Very interesting. Hey, Bill, hey, Lee, always a pleasure. Thanks for being here. Good job today. Thank you. Come back again real soon, Lee Branham. Ladies and gentlemen, he'll be back another day. I'm Jim Blassingame reminding you to always seek excellence, not perfection. I'll see you later. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.